Hey everybody, my name is Ashton and welcome to Without Code. We're really excited to share a brand new feature that we've integrated into Without Code, introducing a powerful, optimized, and cloud-based file storage feature called Media Drive. It's built into Without Code and is accessible right from the dashboard, the same place you access all of your websites. Connecting files stored in Media Drive with widgets like galleries or self-hosted video players is ultra simple and fast. While the storage is optimized for easy use with Without Code widgets, it's also designed to offer unparalleled connectivity with other services and products, even on sites hosted elsewhere on other platforms. In fact, stay tuned for when I explain direct linking in this video to learn how Media Drive makes access to files like video, audio, and images far more effective and useful than other cloud storage platforms like Dropbox. Media Drive is included for free for Without Code Pro members, 50 megabytes of storage. Larger storage capacity is available at $59 per year for one gigabyte. In this video, we'll have a quick overview look at the Media Drive service and cover the basics of the interface. Here inside Media Drive, along the top, we've got a search bar, buttons for uploading files, creating a folder, and some icons on the far right for storage details, filter by type and list options. Let's start by adding some files. So we'll click the Upload File button here. You can drag and drop files directly onto this box here, or simply click Upload from Computer. Now I've got some images here that will upload in bulk, and I can select them all and click Open. And they're immediately added to our upload list here. And just like that, we have all six files accessible right here in our drive. Back to the top menu here, we can use the search feature to search the entire media drive for files. Create folder allows us to do exactly that, create folders. We can create as many as we like and even create folders inside of folders inside of folders. Let's quickly create a folder. We'll name it product images. Folders are the way you will keep files within Media Drive organized. Now check out the next video in this series for file management and organization. We can click this icon on the top here for Media Drive details. This displays information including the amount of storage you've used, your total storage capacity, and your storage ID. Additionally, you may refresh the storage. This refreshes all files to the current state and access documentation. Next icon is filter by type. This allows you to include or exclude file types in the list, such as video, audio, images, etc. And then list options. This allows you to set the number of items to display on the page. Moving down to the list of files, we can see that each line has several details, file name, size, date it was added, and file type. I'll also mention that there are many file types supported from images to video, audio, and even documents. Check out our Media Drive documentation for a full list of supported file types. And on the right-hand side, we can see icons for a direct link, more on that in a moment, download, info, and delete. Now, as I hinted in the intro, there's a very simple but powerful Media Drive perk that is hugely useful for when using media in galleries, video players, audio players, etc. And this is something that is not possible with Dropbox or other cloud storage services. We've created many, many gallery widgets, video players, and audio players over the years. And of course, with many of these types of widgets, the question always arises, where do I host my image, video, or audio files? And in fact, this is one of the most common questions we get in support for Without Code. And of course, in Muse Themes support before Without Code. Where should I host my files? And it was always a complicated answer because while you can host media in places like Dropbox, linking to individual files is not straightforward. You're required to modify the URL that Dropbox gives you. And if you've been doing this for a while, you might recall that Dropbox has changed their policy and URL structure before as well, which they could do anytime in the future too, and could render an entire gallery as broken if the links change. With direct linking here, I just hit the copy link icon and I've copied the direct link. It's a simple thing, but highly valuable when hosting media. I can now paste this link into a gallery or a media player and be done. That link will never change. Let me give you an example. I'm going to grab the share link for an image in Dropbox. So switching my browser tab to Dropbox, I've uploaded the same six images into a folder here. And let me click on one of them. And now I'm going to click on share. And then we'll select create link. And then copy link. Now let me paste this link into a new browser tab. Okay, now for comparison, let me go back to Media Drive and copy the link for the same image. There we go, and I'll paste that into another browser tab. 
So now switching between these two tabs, we can see the Dropbox link here is not direct because you can see this whole Dropbox interface here. It's actually useless as a link to be used in a gallery. The Media Drive direct link, however, displays the image in the browser directly, meaning this can be used in a gallery or a widget as is. Now, in fairness, Dropbox never intended its service to be used as a host for galleries or media players, but that's exactly what we intend our Media Drive hosting to be. Back in the file list, we can click on any file name and see a preview of the file. I can also click the Lightbox view to see previews of files in a Lightbox. This is a slideshow style interface that I can use to view a preview of all the files by using the next and previous buttons. Now in our next video, we're going to cover file management and organization using folders. But before I go, I want to share something that we're working on now, media streaming. This will allow you to use a single link to use in future without code widgets, such as an image gallery, to populate the entire gallery with images, including titles, descriptions, and links. Media Drive will automatically generate a JSON file that lists all the content within a media stream folder and passes that to the widget. So put simply, you can just click on the button to copy a folder's link and paste it into the gallery widget. This entire gallery will then be populated in one click. This will also pull in other information for individual files like titles, descriptions, and links. Now, if you're familiar with our Connect series of widgets for the Without Code and Muse Themes platforms, this will be similar to that, but without the need for spreadsheets. Entire dynamic collections can be generated via a single click. We're really excited for this feature, and we think you'll like it too. Thanks so much for checking out Media Drive. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.